Today we're going to talk about chain versus shaft versus belt drives. Now, most motorcycles traditionally use uh, either chains or shaft to transfer power to from the rear wheel, from the engine to the rear wheel. Now, both chain drive and shaft drive motorcycles offer their own sets of advantages and disadvantages, but chain driven motorcycles are the most common in the market today. Now, a few rare motorcycles do use belt drive, particularly Harley Davidson and you know these big American. Um, muscle bikes uh, like Victory, they use uh, a belt drives. Now, classic bike enthusiasts look to purchase, uh, you know, purchasing their next motorcycle vehicle will encounter chain drives more, uh, out of, uh, particularly out of sports bike. Now, neither chain or shaft dominates the touring or sports touring markets. Um, but shaft driven motorcycles are primarily produced by BMW. Now, BMW is really, uh, you know, focused on shaft. Now, the company first introduced shaft drives in their models in the R32 in 1923. And since, they're, since then, they have primarily using the shaft drives uh, in, uh, as part of their touring bike lineups. The system has been uh, proven to be reliable and robust for thousands of miles. Even some uh, BMW dual sports uh, have shaft drive like the GS1250, uh, uh, the GS1200, the 1150, which are bikes uh, that I've owned. I've owned the GS bikes. Now, BMW is the exception. Chain drives are still more popular and outnumber shaft drives. Although belt drives are gaining in popularity because of Harleys and because of uh, you know victories in the American muscle bikes. To understand why uh, you know, these uh, drives dominate or don't dominate, we need to understand the pros and cons. Now, let's look at the chain drives pros and cons. Chain drives uh, are very lightweight, they're easy to service, but they do require cleaning and retensioning regularly. Because of the design, chain systems are s smoothly absorb shock, shock loads from sudden acceleration, sudden braking, and road irregularities. They also contribute to greater fuel economy, which is a, a plus for me. Uh, additionally, the final drive ratio can be changed by replacing the chain and sprockets, which makes chain-driven motorcycles most versatile, more versatile and adaptable to rider needs. And this is the biggest reason why I like chain drives, because I can adjust the sprockets and the light weight, uh, uh, weightness of it. However, chains and sprockets will wear out much faster than the shaft drive components. And the chain will eject, partic eject particular uh, particles of lubricant like grease into the surrounding areas so it is not as user friendly as uh, ergonomically friendly as sh uh, shaft drives so they definitely require more maintenance and cleaning in harsh roads and harsh environments like off-road use the chain can stretch and break and uh, so this uh, this potentially allows the chain to come off during off uh, during use. Now let's talk about shaft drives, the pros and cons. Now shaft drives are notable for their durability, their longevity, and their cleanliness. Because shaft, the shaft is self-contained, it rarely ever needs maintenance itself. <coughs> the bike <coughs> only requires regular oil changes to keep it going, which are the shaft <coughs> gear oiling changes. Uh, additionally, the shaft stiffens uh, the swing arm on the rear tire, providing increasing increased handling and stability, <coughs> while the absence of lubricants means the system runs cleaner than chain drive models. On the other hand, shaft drives models typically tend to transmit more of the shock absorption to the bike frame and rider, which is especially true when accelerating and decelerating. And I've noticed this on my GS, you know, it's more stiff and, you know, sends these shock uh, hits to to my uh, to the to the body the shaft system also has a tendency to lock the rear wheel if the downshift does not match the road shift uh, the road speed which i've experienced a lot and this can be potentially dangerous if the rider is not paying attention now due to their longer road uh, life shaft motorcycles are much more expensive to repair and require parts for made from their individual manufacturers so it'll be difficult to find a replacement shaft drive in the middle of a cross-country trip if something ever happens. Although shaft-driven bikes may run longer before needing repair, the costs involved when they do need maintenance are much more than many buyers are willing to take on. So now let's talk about belt drives. Now belt drives I think are probably the smoothest. <coughs> they offer the smoothest ride 
very, very quiet. There's no chain noise. There's no shaft noise. And uh, so, they, you know, they're getting popular with the Harleys. Uh, so, you know, that's one, one pro. <coughs> But if I was to choose one of out of all three, now that I've driven all three, particularly chain and shaft, right, I have a lot of experience on those. Uh, the disadvantage of the belt is that you can't change a sprocket. So that's one negative of the belt. It's got, you can't change a sprocket sizing. So out of all the three, my preference is, and <clears throat> this is only my preference, is I prefer chain drive because they're lighter. You can change the sprockets. So initially I was gearing over the shaft, but after owning the shaft for many, many years on the GS, you know, I, I, I don't like the, the feel of it. I don't like the ride, the, the weight of it. I prefer chain drive. So uh, chain drive is my pick, but obviously you can pick whatever suits your riding style. But for me, I, I prefer chain drives.